What is up guys, Brando here, welcome to my channel. Today, I wanna bring to you the Wahoo Element Boat. So I've been going down this road of finding the perfect GPS and I stumbled upon the Wahoo Element Bolt, which is quite a nifty little bicycle GPS. This is great value for money, being that it has been dropped by like $50 or so uh, within these past few months. We know that there's a lot of newer GPSs coming on onto the market and Wahoo is attacking this by dropping their prices. And this is a brilliant little GPS. I must admit. So we're gonna have a quick look at what we get in the box. Remember, I did open this up. Uh, I've done already 7,000 kilometers and I utterly enjoyed it. I've had not a single problem with this baby. So let's pop this box open and see what we get inside. Well, we're greeted with this Wahoo Element Bolt in this pretty little window right here. I've switched it on just to save us a bit of time. Um, in the box we get our bolt, uh, which my backlight is on at the moment. We pop this off, we have an optional locking screw. So what happens with the UCI guys when you're having professional races, you are allowed to screw in the GPS and it uh, is added to the total value of the weight of the bike. You also get this bracket. I guess this is what Wahoo brags about when they say that this is the most aerodynamic GPS on the market at the moment. We're gonna have a look at that, but for now let's unbox. And we get a instruction manual, a USB cable, and this is the stem mount. You also get four of these cable ties that will mount the stem mount onto your stem. Okay, so enough with that. Let's have a look at what this can do. Okay, so we are back and I've got my element bolt paired to my iPhone here and the pairing process is brilliant. It just takes a few seconds. All you gotta do is scan a little icon that's on your bolt and the bolt are paired up and ready to go. I've got at the moment a giant N plus Bluetooth cadence uh, speed sensor, which I do not use, but I have it connected on here for indoor riding. I've also got the Garmin Vector 3 pedal pair that work perfectly on this unit. I have not had a single issue. This Wahoo Element Bolt works off the app uh, on your phone marvelously. And for now, I want to tell you the key features of this. So number one, the Element Bolt has the main buttons at the top right here, which was one of the main concerns I had. Because if you watch my giant Neo S, video i'll just put a link down in the description below you will see that uh, most cyclists get numb hands or numb fingers and we can't press any buttons on the side of the gps uh, especially if it's wobbly or it's too hard or whatever but here there's buttons at the top and i've done rides uh, right up to a 180 kilometer at any given moment at that endurance ride i could press these buttons without an issue the power buttons are right here on the side also very well made these are the zoom buttons here on the side and up and down and what it does is it would actually zoom into the screen and then zoom back out so you can store in more information uh, on your screen so um what i love about this gps is that it's so customizable and that was from the word go what i initially wanted i wanted something that i could change on the fly and that's the thing with this Wahoo Element Bolt. So we're gonna take a dive into the application because I believe that that's what makes this GPS so good. The application is just phenomenal. We're gonna open up the Wahoo Element application and we see that uh, in the settings page, it's already uh, paired up here. Let's move this mount out of the way. If you scroll down, uh, everything's really big and well managed. If I click onto pages and I go onto my workout data, um, I can change everything on the fly. So for instance, if I wanna move current speed down to number three, all I gotta do is move it and like that in a matter of a second, you have your current speed moved up and that's done on the fly. I know you're not gonna do it on your bike while you are busy riding, but I mean, it's just so easy to do it. So let's move current speed back up onto the top 
and it instantly changes. You can set in any one of these values in, into any one of these slots and I have never had an issue with it not working. The other thing is that the battery life is really great. It gives me plus minus uh, maybe a week of riding every day uh, with the light off that is. If the light's on, maybe five days and you just got to charge it up a bit. One of the key features of the Element uh, series GPSs are the LED strips. The Element Roam and the Element itself have two strips, one on the side and one on the top. This just has the one on the top. And yes, I use it for every ride. It's something that if you don't have, you'll never know what it's like to not have. I can guarantee you that you'll be using it uh, quite a bit. The screen is the same size as the giant new S screen. But surprisingly, it's much more clearer. The pixels are much more vivid, it's much more distinct, and even in really bright light, you got good visibility of what's on that screen. Remember, at this given point in time, there is the Wahoo Element Roam, which was not out when I purchased this, and I would have maybe went for the Roam because of the bigger screen, etc. But um, you come to think of it and do you really need all of that? I'm the type of guy that constantly looks at my GPS screen when I ride. Every four or five seconds, I'm glancing at the stats. The charge port at the back is a micro USB. Here we go, micro USB. And I just feel that companies right now should be moving to USB-C. I don't understand why they do it and this is my gripe with every new product that comes out. We don't seem to see much USB-C in there. Maybe in the future we could have more of that. The major design or the whole of this GPS is this aerodynamic look which the Bolt came out first and then it was the Roam. Does it make any difference? And I can tell you no, it doesn't make any difference. Um, I don't think that something so small would make that much of a difference for your ride. And if it does, it means that you were like Superman already and you just trying to shave off a one split second. And I don't feel that a normal person is gonna buy this GPS just because of the aerodynamic shape. It does look cool, but remember once you change your stem mount, then it's gonna be like any other GPS, um, just lying flat on, on the mount there. Well, as you can see, most GPSs have the same features. It just boils down to which one works well. And to me, Wahoo works perfectly. I've had tons of people tell me how they've suffered with Garmin. And if you ask most Garmin guys, um, I think it's like maybe 20% or 30% of guys that, uh, that don't have any issues with it. I have a set of vector pedals and it wasn't very easy to even pair the vector pedals onto the Garmin app. So Garmin's not very good with an application. I'm a tech guy and I always say this, that uh, cycling is quite backward in technology, especially when it comes to pairing stuff and using uh, N plus and Bluetooth. I feel that with the budget and the price that we're paying for these things, they can do a whole lot better. This was my uh, take on the Wahoo Element Bolt. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit a thumbs up if you did not like it thumbs down and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. For now, if you have any comments, please leave it down below. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Ciao.